I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from Richard, who has spent an inordinate amount of time translating my works into another language, and wants to know what I think of the various translations of my stories. I'm of a few minds in this matter. It's deeply flattering to think of anyone reading my stories these days, let alone people thumbing through them in far-off exotic lands, reading my works in their own tongues. It's humbling. But it's also a bit disconcerting. While I'm certain that translators are able to capture my, my settings, my characters, my monsters, my works are more than just ideas. They, they're poetry. The words themselves matter, and I can't trust that any translator will be able to capture the same feeling I was trying to evoke. I mean, what is Icelandic for tenebrous? Is there a decent Mandarin term for... Cyclopean? Do the Basque even have a word for fetid? What is being lost in these translations? I have no control over it, and it's terrifying. But I've never been one to shy away from terror. And indeed, I like the idea of perhaps one day seeing one of my stories translated into one of those great languages, Latin, Greek, Arabic even. Really, any Translation is an homage and a deep source of pride. Except for Esperanto. The idea of someone reading my story in that perfidious tongue keeps me up at night. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.